Hi everyone! Welcome to our Menti Quiz! We're just waiting for everyone to come in. So, big welcome. I'm very excited about this quiz actually. I love quizzes. <laughs> Okay, we'll just wait for a couple of moments to, so that we can have some participants join us. All right. And let us see some more numbers. Wow, you're making a huge impact. This lesson made me understand. It was just like traveling in the train of British India. Superb, that's great. How do we have more? Come on, come on, come on. I want to see more people join this. I hope everyone has got the code and everyone knows, right? We're waiting because today's quiz is going to be super fun. We've got some very interesting questions lined up for you. And we have the leaderboard also, which is going to come up super, super fast. Charvi says joined. I can't really see any participants joining over here. All right, let's just see. Oh, we have so many people over here. I'm excited. Okay, so without any further ado, let us just start with the questions. Thank you, Charvi. Good evening, Purva. Uh, code has already been given. Uh, and Abhinav, I'm very excited too. Let us start with our first question for today from the quiz. Ah, so excited. Okay, you have to answer fast to get more points. Why was the Swaraj party formed by C.R. Das and Motilal Nehru in 1923? Your options are to oppose British policies within the council, to attain Purna Swaraj, to oppose British policies through mass agitation or to fight growing communal communalism in India. Quickly put in your answer. Speed is the thrill over here as well as the knowledge of the subject. And we have the timer that is ticking. Let us see, let us see, let us see, let us see, let us see. It's coming up. The answer is coming up anytime now. And we have three, two, one, and time's up. Ooh, well, yes. The Swaraj party was formed by C.R. Das and Motilal Nehru in 1923 to oppose British policies within the council. Let's take a look at the leaderboard over here. This is the exciting part. Let us see who is the fastest person over here. Leaderboard says that... Ooh, we have, wow, we have Shrishti who is leading, uh, who is the fastest over here. Let's move on to the next question. See, this is a great opportunity to learn, to have fun, to answer questions and to pick up your speed also. So everybody has a chance to become faster, right? So Shrishti has won this now, but we will have other winners too. Let's move on to the next question, which is basically coming up right now. Question number two out of 10, which will surprise for me too. I'm waiting. Are you all excited? I am. Question number two out of ten says, let's see. What was the idea of Gandhiji's Satyagraha? Was it arguments and violence? Was it agitation and revolt? Was it power of the truth? That is the need to search for truth or was it search for the truth through violence? Well, put in your answers. This is a very easy question. Put in your answers fast, please. Three, two, one, and time's up. And the correct answer is yes, indeed. We've got 121 people who have given us the correct answer. The power of truth need to search for truth. Let's take a look at the leaderboard, which will give us some interesting results. And we have... All right. We have... Oops, we have Lalit Kishore over here who is at the top of the list. So guys, everyone try and catch up. Good. Let's move on to our next question, which is basically question 3 out of 10. Are you all ready? Well, let's see what the question says. In which session of Congress was the idea of Purna Swaraj adopted? Karachi, Lucknow, Bombay or Lahore? Come on, we have just discussed this in our session today. Uh, so put in your answers. I know you know the answers. Quickly, quickly, quickly. 
quick, 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 quick. And time's up. What is the answer? Yes, the correct answer is Lahore. Absolutely right. Let us take a look at the, the leaderboard again. And the leaderboard again, we have... All right, we have Aradhya who is the fastest over here. Well done. Let's move on to our next question, which is question 4 out of 10. Let's see what our question says. Who wrote Hind Swaraj? Very, very easy. Come on. Who wrote this? You should know this answer. Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru, Subhash Chandra Bose or C.R. Das. Quickly. What is the answer? Put your answers in super, super fast. And three, two, one. And the correct answer is... Yes, it is Mahatma Gandhi. Absolutely right. Let us take a look at the leaderboard and see who is the fastest person. Fastest person over here is... Well, I love it when this leaderboard is arranging itself. Uh, fastest person over here is BTS Army. Good job. Let's move on to our next question, which is question 5 out of 10. Let's take a look at the question. And the question says, who painted the famous image of Bharat Mata in 1905? We've just discussed this. Rabindranath Tagore, Bankim Chandra Chattopadhyay, Abhinandranath Tagore or Natesa Sastri. I've just shown you the image also. You should know this question. So quickly put your answers in. And yeah, time's up. And the correct answer, yes, is Abhinindranath Tagore. He painted the image of Bharat Mata in 1905. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. See, leaderboard is a lot of fun. It's just a game that we are playing. But the point over here is, of course, we want to see who's fastest. And it's a good thing. But the important thing is that you got the answer correct. And if you didn't, so what? You will get it correct next time. And so our fastest person over here is Agent X9. Congratulations. Let's move on to question number six out of 10 and the question says we are waiting for the question what happened according to the Gandhi Irwin Pact of 1931 we have discussed this also soil tax was increased but political prisoners were re released Gandhi took part in the second round table conference Gandhi decided to relaunch the civil disobedience movement or Gandhi took part in the first round table conference Quickly put your answers in. I know you know the answer. We have discussed this. So this should be easy peasy for you. Okay. We have 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And time's up. What is the correct answer? Absolutely right. Gandhiji took part in the second round table conference. That is the right answer. Congratulations to all of you who got it right. And our leaderboard now says that... Mm -hmm. Who is the fastest? I'm also waiting. Yes, your boy Deepak Pal is the fastest. All right. So you see, this is great because different, different people are becoming the fastest over here. This is very, very good. Let's move on to our next question. Question 7 out of 10. Let's see what it says. Okay, why did Gandhiji withdraw the non-cooperation movement? We have discussed this. Congress leaders wanted more radical mass movements. Gandhiji felt that the movement was turning violent in places. Gandhiji realized that people were losing interest in the movement or Gan Congress leaders wanted the movement to be called off. Why was the non-cooperation movement called off? Well, you know the answer. And you've still got some time, so take your time. Or don't take your time, but answer anyway. All right. And time's up. What is the answer? Absolutely right. Gandhiji felt that the movement was turning violent in uh, places, so it was called off. Now we move to our next question. Oh, oh sorry, it was the leaderboard. I forgot the leaderboard in this case. Who is the fastest? And we have... Ooh, Rishik, who is the fastest? Congratulations, Rishik. Let's move on to our next question over here. Question 8 out of 10. Let's see what our question says. I'm sure you're going to crack it. 
Okay, why did the Indians oppose the Rowlett Act? Very simple, we've discussed this. It gave the British the power to arrest and detain a person without trial. It increased taxes on indigo cultivation. It introduced the salt law for poor peasants or it banned vernacular newspapers in India. Very easy. Hi, Ananya. All right, and our time is up. The correct answer, yes, it gave the British the power to arrest and detain a person without a trial. Absolutely right. Let us see the leaderboard. Leaderboard, leaderboard, leaderboard. Who is the fastest? And whoops, BTS Army is the fastest. Well done. Let's move on to question nine. Question 9 out of 10 says, well, we're waiting. Question 9. When was the Federation of the Indian Chamber of Commerce and Industries formed? Quickly, this is a fact-based question. It's in your CBSE textbook. 1925, 1927, 1930 or 1920. Put your answers in now. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hi, Shivansh. All right, let's see what the correct answer is. You still have some time. So put in your answers if you haven't already. 3, 2, 1. Time is up. And the correct answer is absolutely right. It was 1927. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. The leaderboard says that, ooh, I, you know, I love it. Well, I really like it when it's arranging itself. It's so much fun. <laughs> All right. And we have Richie, who is the fastest again. Well done. Okay. Let's move on to the last question. 10 out of 10. Let us move on and see what the question says. From where did Mahatma Gandhi start his famous salt march? We just discussed this. Dandi, Sura, Sabarmati or Bombay. Come on, come on. You know the answer to this one. This is very, very easy. And 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time's up. Yes, 84 people have got it right. Sabarmati is the correct answer. Absolutely right. And we will take a look at the lead, leaderboard now. And we have... Ooh. We have... Wow, the winner is Richie. Very nice. But in this case, it was Agent X9 who was the fastest. Richie, congratulations. Actually, congratulations to all of you. The time doesn't really matter. It is the knowledge that we have gained that actually matters. And the learning that we've got, even if we've not, the, got, not got the correct answer. So, super, super job, everyone. It was a pleasure to be with you here today. And we will continue to be with you. As you know, we've supported you in your term one exams. We will always be here for you. So, uh, attend all our, uh, all our sessions and we are going to be basically conducting free um, trial classes for you. So, link uh, is there in the description box. Please go ahead and click it. And uh, we have an upcoming session which is Manufacturing Industries in Geography which is coming up on the 14th of January 2022 at 5 p.m. So please do make it a point to join the session. I'm going to see you over there because Bye Juice always has you covered. So thank you very much for attending this session. It was great fun to be with you over here today. Beautiful comments over here. Ma'am, you're very beautiful. Thank you. You're my favorite teacher. Thank you. Enjoyed the session a lot. Thank you so much, all of you. Uh, let me see you for the geography session next week. Bye-bye.